Hello children, how are you? Hope all of you are fine at your home. And today we are going to study about very important topic and the name is importance of water. Now today we will see how water is important in our day to day life and what are the different uses of water other than domestic uses. So let's start. Water is an important natural resource which is essential for all living beings, be it plants or animals. We are using water for drinking, cooking food, bathing, washing cloths, cleaning utensils, watering our plants and for quenching our thirst in toilet for brushing our teeth and face and nowadays we are doing so many times hand wash for that also we need water <coughs> now we will see some other uses of water means other than domestic uses water is used for so many water sports what are these water sports swimming water skiing boating these are some water sports for transportation of goods also we need water. Even we travel one country to another country by help of water wage. Water is also means of recreation for small kids. You can see here in pic how the children enjoying water. Water is the main constituent of human body also. About 70% part of our body is made up of water. Water also help in digestion of food. Nutrients present in food get dissolved in water and this helps their bodies to absorb the nutrients. Our body also excrete some waste materials in the form of urine, sweat and tear. Animals living in water are known as aquatic animals. Here you can see some aquatic animals and their pigs. Well, seahorse, prawn, octopus, these are some aquatic animals animals. There are some animals who may live on land as well as in water. Such animals are known as amphibious animals. You can see here the pigs, frog, turtle, crocodile. These are some amphibious animals. Water is not only important for animals but plants also. Water help in germination of seeds. Plants absorb nutrients dissolved in water present in the soil. Plants absorb water from the soil with the help of their roots. This absorb water transported to different parts of the plant by help of the soot system. Plant also need water for process of photosynthesis. What is the process of photosynthesis? It is the process by help of which the green plants can make their own food. Water also help in germination of seeds. Without germination, the plant cannot be get developed. Here you can see pics of some aquatic plants, lotus, water hackint, duckweed, water lettuce, hydrilla. These plants can only survive in water. So, I hope all of you have been understood. What are the different uses of water for plants and animals? Have a nice day children. Thank you. Rest we will study in our next class.